Hey, how's it going guys? The Census Bros here, and in today's topic, what we're going to talk about is skill-based matchmaking in Cold War specifically. Modern Warfare is somewhat guilty of this to some degree, but it seems it to me that it's a lot more playable than what Cold War will ever be. But, with that in mind, apparently more people were playing Cold War than they have done on Modern Warfare, which is quite confusing considering Modern Warfare was one of the best-selling games, especially in recent times for Call of Duty history. And they're saying that their actual sales in the shop has gone up. So let's say you see a camo, like for me for instance, it would be the Ghostly Recon on the M4, because that's from Call of Duty Ghosts. I absolutely love that game, and I also like the camo that was in that as well, which is why I bought that specific weapon. But let's say that you were in a game, and you said, right, you know, after this I'm going to buy this gun or because somebody had green tracer rounds and green's your favourite colour you would buy it they're now starting to say that the skill based matchmaking they're basically saying that it's never going to go away what has happened now is how it's going to be pretty much for the future of Call of Duty which is so sad because the glory days of Call of Duty is definitely gone I mean you know the Modern Warfare 3 Black Ops 2 Modern Warfare 2 you know all of the good ones they're now kind of just a faint memory of what COD used to be compared to what COD is now where everything is, they say it's not a pay to win, but some things are pay to win. Like certain guns with their disembowelment and other guns with tracer rounds, they're meant to be better than other guns that people have in the game. And if you die enough by them, that encourages you to buy said gun. See, I would actually like to be in the boardroom when they come up with these ideas. Uh, you know, I can just imagine just these, these, you know, three guys or, you know, two guys and a girl around the table just sitting there and they're like, hmm, you know what? I think the best way to make money is is to just completely fuck everybody else over and put skill-based matchmaking in and make it so hard that people will not be able to escape the fact that they have to put money into the game. And you know somebody else will get up and as they put their hand up to try and contest that, the other guy's like, ah, no, sit down Tracy, it's my turn, my turn. And they look at the whiteboard and they see you know, previous CODs that they've done really well on and they just go, yeah, I know how to make money. And you know that the rest of them just nod because they, you know, they're they're kind of somewhat fearful of this guy because he has the power to fire them. And you know, like the other ones are like, um, so, you know, what about if we take away skill-based matchmaking? You know, maybe for a day to see if other people like it. And you know, the main geese is like, no, put your hand back down. You've lost your talking privileges. And you know, they're all kind of just sitting around at this table, a bit like, okay. And, you know, one of them spike pipes back up and says, so is, is is what you're trying to say Call of Duty, you know, a, a money cash cow now, more so than it was before? And the other guy just looks at him and he just goes, yeah, yeah, it is. And that's kind of how I imagine the boardroom would go. I kind of don't see where, like, or why it's gotten as greedy as it has, because I, you know, it's really sad to see the way that everything's going. I mean, Modern Warfare I play because... I actually quite like the Battle Royale, but with Cold War, they were talking about how the Battle Royale has been included within their, like, player base. I actually don't understand how that's even a thing. I mean, there's two separate games, and although Warzone is a free-to-play game, I find it very confusing that they can just turn around and go, yeah, this is what, you know, the new Call of Duty is going to be, and the good old days of what COD once was will never be again. And it's really sad and tragic to think of it in that sense, because in the glory days, you know, you had Call of Duty, and it was like a staple. Like, if you had a PlayStation 3, Xbox, or, a, you know, one of those two consoles, you know you were, most of the time you're going to have a good time, it was going to be great, you know you're going to meet new people. The only way that I've met new people now is by playing Warzone. That is, like, the only fun thing ever especially if you get a win do you know what I mean it's just, just there's nothing that beats that feeling and it kind of brings back the good old days of when playing and being good at a game actually meant that you were quite skillful whereas now I feel like you get punished for it I feel like now if you do too good nah that's it game over you're you're not doing the best anymore like you know if you if you're too good at the game they'll hammer you down until you buy a new gun from the shop and that's it and I find that very, very sad. This is just a ramblings of a madman, but I know some people somewhere agree with me, and I do find it quite sad, but that's my take on the skill-based matchmaking. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. If you did, I mean, give it a like, rate, and comment, and subscribe, and I guess we'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out, my boys. Peace out. It's all about mimicking! Mimicking!